Good afternoon and good evening, everyone, depending on where you are in the world at this moment. My name is Nicholas Roman Lewis, and I am the Senior Director for Shared Interest Groups at the Association of Yale Alumni. And today we are fortunate to hear from Yale World Fellow Marvin Rees. The guys on the, the World Fellows Program told us that Yale have educated three of the last four presidents. And I came back to my city of Bristol. And the question I had for myself is, well, what if a city developed that kind of intentional approach to producing world leaders? Can you tell a little bit more about your experience as the Yale World Fellow as well? Incredible program. Um, four months at Yale. And um, what I would say is when you get there, they really throw the best of what the university has to offer at you. It's offered to people at a time in their lives when they're really having a, uh, taken a chance to stop and think. I think what we need to do is to just get a grip uh, in, in England and figure out um, the stark reality is that there is no more money to invest. And, and after 2008, uh, we've had uh, stagnant healthcare budgets. What are the incentives um, for either doctors or hospitals or healthcare systems as a whole to focus more on outcomes in the UK? I mean, is it changes in payment system? Is it the types of healthcare yeah. organizations? I mean, I think at the core for any clinician, their, their core is why they actually went into healthcare or medicine is because they want to help patients. What brought me to her was her openness and her interest to consider the classics outside the classical world. And that meant, uh, in terms of my own project, working on Latin dialogues and classical culture and this uh, idea of Latinity. I, I want to know, do you ever think, well, this is happening today or this theme is very current or I just saw this in the news. I mean, what, is, what do you have to say about the modernity of your, your work? Anyone is on a journey. Everyone is on a journey. And these journeys are all uh, transcultural. This is the beauty of a journey. How were things and ideas and people circulating um, in other eras? And how could we relate that those kinds of circuits of exchange to our own period? So we uh, look forward to seeing you next week. And please stay tuned. And thank you for the discussion today. And thank everyone else who's attended from everywhere in the world.